The numbers are shocking. Each year, Americans throw away enough food to fill an estimated 730 football stadiums. To bring that a little closer to home, maybe, the average American family throws out $190 worth of food every month. And part of all that waste might be due to some surprising mistakes you may not realize you're making. ABC's Amy Robach brings us this lesson in Waste Not, Want Not for our series, Easy Money. Meet Rebecca Dickinson, a stay-at-home mom feeding a family of four in Morristown, New Jersey. You guys want something to drink? She makes breakfast, packs school lunches, and cooks dinner four times a week for her two kids, Madeline and AJ, ages nine and six, and husband Jeff, who is a financial planner. Add it all up, and it's a significant bill with a significant challenge. What would you say your weekly food bill is? It, probably closer to like, what, 300? All in. Probably. Yeah, give or yeah. take. So yeah. you're looking at about 1,200 to 1,400. Yeah. 14, 1,500 yeah. a month. Yeah. But how much of that monthly bill goes to waste? The average U.S. household tosses out about 25% of food purchased. That's over 720 pounds of food per family per year. As a country, we throw out enough food a year to fill 730 football stadiums. So we decided to follow the Dickinsons for an entire week. Come on, guys. Setting up cameras in the refrigerator, the pantry, even weighing their trash to see just what they bought in the grocery store, what they made for meals, and what they threw away. So we were here with you for a week, and don't feel bad because this is right on par with the rest of America, okay. but you threw out 13 pounds of food in a week. Oh my God. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. That's pretty ridiculous. You're a finance guy. You know That's what right. that means. Exactly. It means money. <laughs> it means about 25% of their food budget, $350 a month, literally goes in the trash. That's a huge number. It's not good for the environment. It's not good for, you know, financially. So we brought in our food industry insider, Marcus Samuelson, celebrity chef and owner of New York City's Red Rooster Restaurant for a little kitchen confidential. If you yeah. ran your kitchen the way most Americans run their kitchen, yes. what would happen to your business? We would be closed. We decided to pay the Dickinsons a visit with Marcus for some kitchen tips. We watched what our cameras caught on tape, leftovers like taco meat and stews, to uneaten deli meat, to spinach and vegetables that look a bit wilted and wrinkled, all being thrown away again and again. Now here's a challenge that I have, I think that everybody has, throwing out produce. When we think the food doesn't look that fresh, it's probably have a couple of more days to go on it. Because the use by date, the sell by yeah. date, is different than the Too expiration different. date. Absolutely. Which brings us to our first tip, learn the lingo. Sell by, use by, or best by doesn't mean toss by. Sell by is the last day you should buy the product in the store. Often you can eat it several days to a week after. Use by is the day through which the item will be top quality, but you can use it many days after that if stored properly. We pulled up into the driveway, ready to meet the Dickinsons. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. I'm Amy. Hi, Amy. And headed straight to their refrigerator to see what Rebecca was about to throw out. So I have some soup that I had made last week. The same squash soup we witnessed her making a week ago. Whoa, that's a lot. About to be tossed. That fish dinner prepared a few days ago, also about to be trashed. But the interesting thing is really how did it get here. I had overestimated how much. Sure, and that's that's common, right? Which leads us to our next tip. Plan your portions. Samuelson says take a moment to visualize what an actual serving is and cook your meals accordingly. The protein can actually be a little bit smaller. A single serving of protein is three ounces, the size of a deck of cards, while a single serving of vegetables or grains, like rice or cereal, is roughly half a cup. A bowl of soup, 12 ounces. And if you do find yourself with leftovers, get creative. That soup can be a vehicle into something else. The way you have to sell a menu in a restaurant, you have to sell a menu to your family as well. Right. If that doesn't I sound do. good, if you say we're gonna have leftovers tonight, kids, yeah. not so popular. No. Yeah. And when it comes to storing food, coldness counts. Keeping the refrigerator as cold as possible is obviously key because then you can get another day or two out of everything that you have. Right. Right. Refrigerators should be set at 40 degrees or colder and the freezer at zero degrees. The Dickinsons have their refrigerator spot on, but experts say most refrigerators are too warm. Lastly, zone your refrigerator. Where do you put what to get the most out of it? Anything that has liquid, 
I, I always say put it as long, as far, further down in the refrigerator as possible. The bottom of your refrigerator is the coldest zone where dairy, eggs, and liquid should be kept. The top shelf and the doors of the refrigerator tend to be warmer where things that don't need to be quite as cold can be housed. So what about that 13 pounds of food the Dickinsons threw out in a week? Experts estimate by cutting the waste, the Dickinsons can save more than $4,000 a year. For Nightline, this is Amy Robach in Morristown, New Jersey.